October 19, 2017 was a day like any other, until it wasn't. High on a mountaintop, Hawaii's PanStars-1 telescope scanned the skies, searching the solar system for a deadly threat to life on Earth. As part of NASA's Near-Earth Object Observations program, the telescope was updating its catalog of near-Earth asteroids and comets, which could pose a threat should one impact us. However, PanStars-1 discovered something much more than a dangerous asteroid, and according to a growing community of academics, it may have discovered the first verified proof of intelligent alien life. Whizzing by at a breakneck speed of 196,000 miles an hour, Oumuamua's highly elliptical orbit immediately told astronomers they weren't looking at an ordinary comet or asteroid. This was the first confirmed visitor from outside our solar system. As telescopes of all kind pointed at our interstellar visitor, though, the data only became weirder. Radar showed us that Oumuamua was a very strange object indeed. Up to a quarter mile long, Oumuamua is ten times longer than wide resembling the classic UFO cigar shape, often claimed by witnesses, only on a much more massive scale. To date, no similar natural object has ever been witnessed in space around the Earth, neither comet nor asteroid. As Oumuamua, which in Hawaiian means the scout, sped out of our solar system, however, scientists spotted it doing something no natural object should be doing, accelerating. Any object falling toward the sun is expected to accelerate as the sun's gravity pulls on it. But as Oumuamua swung past the sun and was on its way out of the solar system, scientists spotted it moving in a way that wouldn't be expected from gravity alone. Scientists were quick to hypothesize that if Oumuamua was indeed a remnant of a comet, it could simply be outgassing as the sun's rays heat up its body. Outgassing is the result of a cometary body warming up in the sun, leading to the release of gas. The escaping gases and debris acts much in the same way a rocket engine does, albeit on a smaller scale. It was a simple and very routine solution to the Oumuamua mystery, except it didn't fit, because try as they might, scientists could find no evidence of outgassing. A new theory was proposed, Oumuamua was simply venting solid hydrogen, invisible to us, but that theory was quickly rebutted, as becoming completely impractical in the real world. Theory came and theory went, but none could offer a widely accepted answer for Oumuamua's acceleration, except for one. Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb looked at the data and proposed a stunning solution. Oumuamua was an alien ship being propelled by solar sails. The acceleration witnessed by Oumuamua was very slight, but exactly the type of acceleration we'd expect from a very large ship using a massive solar sail. The type of interstellar propulsion method uses extremely thin sheets of material set either to the front or sides of a spacecraft. The sails work exactly the same way wind sails do here on Earth only with solar radiation rather than wind. While minuscule, the impact of photons on a solar sail imparts a tiny bit of momentum which over long spans of time can accelerate a ship to a very respectable fraction of the speed of light. The best part is that unlike regular rockets, you don't have to carry the weight of fuel with you, and as long as you can dip near a star, you'll never run out of fuel. Solar sails aren't the fastest means of interstellar propulsion humanity has theorized, but they are extremely efficient. It'll take Oumuamua about 11,000 years to travel one light year as it speeds away from us and toward the Pegasus constellation, and while that sounds like a very long time, the truth is that for an intergalactic civilization, those sorts of timescales are irrelevant. While not likely a research ship of any kind, as manned ships would want to move faster than Oumuamua, it could have very well been an automated cargo craft dipping into our solar system for a speed boost as it slingshotted past our sun. There is one problem with this, though, and that's the fact that Oumuamua was believed to be tumbling on more than one axis, which wouldn't make much sense for a functional alien ship. However, a derelict or destroyed ship, or perhaps simply a piece of massive alien debris, could easily be spinning on multiple axes the way Oumuamua was. We may possibly have just witnessed the alien equivalent of the Titanic zipping past our solar system, with its deployed solar sail still propelling it on a never-ending journey through the galaxy. The alien theory seems out there, but the shape of Oumuamua itself does lend for some credibility. It just so happens that Oumuamua is not only an extremely unusual shape for a natural comet or asteroid, in fact none like it have ever been observed, but that its skinny elongated body is perfect for traveling through the cosmos at high speeds. When you're moving at a fraction of the speed of light, even as our own technology today would allow us to accomplish on long interstellar voyages, running into a speck of dust would release energy equivalent to a small nuclear explosion. The best way to avoid strikes like this is to create the main body of your ship where your inhabitants and equipment is stored, skinny and very long, reducing the forward-facing profile of the ship. 
you would then protect the ship with an extremely hard nose cone which would ablate away as you traveled through space. Other observations, however, reveal that Oumuamua may have instead been shaped like a very large, very flat pancake, which makes the case for a light sail even stronger. The shape is certainly well outside the bounds of nature, though sadly Oumuamua's tumbling an extreme distance from Earth made it difficult to get accurate data. What's even more curious is that Oumuamua seemed to pass through the Goldilocks zone of the Sun, or the area where liquid water and thus life is possible. At its closest, Oumuamua came within 15 million miles of Earth, or about 63 times the distance of Earth to the Moon. In astronomical terms, this is basically invading the Earth's personal space. Mars, our closest neighbor, is over twice that distance, 33.9 million miles at its closest to us. As if Oumuamua wasn't strange enough already, observations show that Oumuamua was likely at rest compared to other stars around us, if speed kept it in the same relative position to stars around it. Rather than Oumuamua visiting us, the solar system itself crashed into it as we orbit the massive black hole at the center of our galaxy. This type of celestial motion is extremely rare in nature, but once more the alien object theory fills in some holes that traditional theories don't. The solar system orbits around the galaxy in roughly 230 million years. An alien civilization using the very same spectroscopy techniques we use to analyze faraway planets would have been able to detect unnatural levels of oxygen in our atmosphere as much as 2.23 billion years ago, concentrations so high that they could have only come from life continuously replenishing oxygen in the atmosphere. Rather than send a probe to us directly, aliens could have simply left one in our path for us to run into eventually especially if they wanted to gather information about us in a stealthy manner, without giving away obvious signs of this probe having working technology aboard. Or Oumuamua may simply be one of millions of similar probes scattered across the galaxy, collecting data automatically as solar systems run into them and send it back home. All of this would be an incredibly lengthy process requiring timescales on the millions of years, yet again for an advanced enough civilization, these timescales mean nothing. When your technology has progressed far enough that you've survived your first million years, the rest are completely inconsequential. Most scientists still believe Oumuamua was natural and very publicly oppose any claim that Oumuamua was alien in origin. However, the data does indicate that whatever Oumuamua was, it was without a doubt the most unusual object humanity has ever seen and could have been the first proof of intelligent life from beyond Earth. Or maybe that's just what the government is paying us to tell you. Just kidding. Though that is what we would say if we were secretly run by the government, isn't it? Now go watch actual military audio recording of Alien Encounter or click this other video instead.